Problem 10, and this is the information you're given. And this is actually going to be, uh, this is describing what's a process known as selective precipitation, which is something we've all done in the laboratory. You want to selectively precipitate one material while leaving the other in solution. And so I, uh, I'm given a, an aqueous solution that is 10 to the minus third molar in both lead nitrate and strontium nitrate. And so I'm also given the information that strontium carbonate has a KSP of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 9, and lead carbonate has a KSP of 3.3 .3 times 10 to the minus 14. So right away, which one's more soluble? The, the strontium carbonate or the lead carbonate? The strontium. The strontium. Obviously, it's like how much more soluble? Around uh, around ten thousand times more soluble, uh, which is something we can exploit. And now, strontium carbonate. So, strontium will precipitate when uh, the carbonate concentration is equal to, and I'm just going to divide the uh, KSP for the strontium, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 9 by the uh, concentration of the lead. Uh, 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 which is 10 to the minus 3. And that is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 6 molar. Okay? And again, that's because uh, 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 KSP is equal to, in this case, the, uh, uh, the strontium times carbonate. So I just divide KSP uh, uh, by the strontium concentration and I got the carbonate concentration. Um, lead carbonate will precipitate carbonate concentration is equal to 3.3 um, .3 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 10 to the minus 3 is equal to 3.3 .3 times 10 to the minus 11 molar, which confirms what we thought beforehand. The obviously uh, this the lead, the lead carbonate being less soluble is going to be the first thing to precipitate out. So now I want to ask the further question, what is going to be the concentration of the lead? So immediately the lead is going to be the first thing that's going to precipitate out. I start to add carbonate to, you know, it doesn't matter what salts, sodium carbonate or something ammonium carbonate, anything, I'm adding it to the solution. When the concentration of carbonate rises above 3.3 .3 times 10 to the minus 11th molar, that's really, really, I mean, that, you know, around the first drop or second drop, I'm going to start to see lead carbonate precipitating out. And it's going to continue to precipitate out until, and, and now I'm adding more and more carbonate to it. It's precipitating, precipitating, precipitating. And then finally, at the onset of strontium precipitation, at uh, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 6 molar, um, I'm going to start as, as the threshold for seeing the strontium carbonate, how much lead is left. So uh, 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 this will precipitate, so the the 
at, at the onset, Um, the P, the lead concentration is equal to, and now how do I find that? I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take the, the solubility product for lead iodide, and I'm going to divide it by the carbonate concentration for the onset of precipitation of the strontium carbonate, and so that is. Uh, where's KSP for a lead iodide? Is equal to 3.3 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by, and what did we decide it was going to be the strontium precipitation is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 6 molar, which is the carbonate concentration. Uh, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 6. Well, that one's pretty easy to handle, isn't it? What's 3.3 divided by 1.6? 2 times 10 to the minus 14 minus, uh, minus 6. Oh, so I add, there's a minus there. I add 6. Is that not visible here? Okay, that's cool. really not very well done. Okay. So I add, right, and that's going to be minus what? Eight. 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 Times 10 to the minus 8 molar. Which means I've gone from 10 to the minus 3 molar to 10 to the minus 8 molar, which I have removed 99.99% of the lead. And uh, I, can, I can selectively, so, I, so what I do is I would stop short of this point and filter it. I've got most of the lead out, and then I can selectively precipitate out the uh, uh, the, the strontium or recover it. I can just evaporate it and recover that from the solution. This is the majority of the, of the lead has been removed. Now let's answer the questions. Okay. A. Strontium will precipitate from solution before lead upon addition of sodium carbonate. Is that true? No. no, that is false. Okay, lead will precipitate. Lead carbonate will precipitate from the solution before strontium carbonate upon addition of sodium carbonate. You betcha. Yeah. We just answered that question. So B is true, and so you're just going to fill in the bubbles for the true statement. So you fill in bubble B. C, the difference in solubility can be exploited to separate the mixture of cations by selective precipitation. Is that true? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Part D, there is an optimum concentration of carbonate ions where all of the lead ions will remain in solution while most of the strontium will have precipitated out as the carbonate. That's complete opposite of truth. Okay, uh, E, there is an optimum concentration of carbonate ions where all the strontium ions will remain in solution while most of the lead will have precipitated out as the carbonate. That is true. I think we pretty much showed that. Okay. Um, so that, is there any questions on that? That's a wrap.